come under the spotlight after receiving national media attention over the rezoning and subsequent rate increases on Headingley Lane in Richmond. Tasman Mayor Richard Kempthorne appeared on TV1's Fair Go programme over the issue in what TDC Communications Manager Chris Choate described as an editing stitch-up job. We took the mainland cameras out to the Tasman District Mayor's office this week to ask Richard Kempthorne for ourselves about Headingley Lane. I think it's really uh, touched a nerve because through the rezoning exercise what it has done is it has significantly increased the property value on some of the properties and the property value is what causes uh, rates and rates increases so the property value increases cause a significant increase in rates for some people and some people are happy with that but some simply want to live there uh, at as low a rate as possible and we want to work with those people to find a solution. Okay. Despite the rezoning happening last February, it seems that some residents were taken by surprise by the rates re-evaluation, with some claiming there was no warning about the increases coming. And I think the reality is that nobody would have known what increases were going to come until we had the three yearly property revaluation. It was at that stage that they saw the revaluation, but I'm sure that some uh, didn't realise uh, and weren't aware that that was going to have a significant impact on their rates and until they saw that uh, it, it was a real surprise to them. Okay. You must have expected some reaction because some of the increases were in the region of 300%. That's going to surprise anyone really isn't it? Well I, I wasn't aware of the reaction until they saw the impact on their rates that was when they reacted and of course that's when we were aware of their reaction. Okay. Now what developments are being proposed for the lane? I mean what's the big picture for that part of Tasman over the next couple of decades? Uh, for that part, for the rezoning in that area is for commercial development. Uh, some parts of Richmond West are for residential, some are for light industrial, but this is uh, commercial development and uh, that's over time how it is expected that this will develop and of course all of this land won't develop overnight, some of it will take uh, quite a considerable time and some people want to uh, live there in their residential uh, living environment for a, a significant time into the future. I must admit, you've got Nelson Pine Industries just over the fence, haven't you? It does have an air of an industrial kind of area now, doesn't it? Yep, and there is mixed zoning, so the various zones, there are distinctly differentiated parts. Uh, Nelson Pines is industrial, uh, this isn't industrial, it's commercial and it, we were trying to pick up the right feel for the overall area, bearing in mind that the we expect in the order of 50 years of, of um, ability to grow and it won't all grow at once, it'll just be a very staged uh, development. One of the questions has to be, I guess, on behalf of residents, are there other areas in the Tasman district where the same event might occur? Uh, yep. Uh, Mortarwick is probably the next one where we're looking at uh, rezoning for the future and we are uh, looking at these exactly these issues and how they will roll out and impact the people of Mortarwicka and in particular in that instance it'll be resident, existing residential people or horticultural operators and we want to be very careful uh, and and perhaps as a result of this give even more consideration for what the impacts will be on them so that we stage the development appropriately. Richard, on TV1's Fair Go programme you appeared to say that the developer involved in the Heading the Lane development was a personal acquaintance. Is that true? Um, I have acquaintances from all walks of life on a daily basis. Some are developers, some are residential ratepayers. Uh, and it's the same in this instance, I'm talking with some of the residents uh, and it's no different to anywhere else, I've got no special connection with the developer. There was that innuendo and inference which I, and I personally think was extremely unhelpful. Okay. Um, having said that, would you agree that it could be seen as a conflict of interest from some of the people living down Headingley Lane if they were to have that feeling about this? No, I don't think so. I've met with uh, the people in Headingley Lane, sometimes in a group, all the whole group of residents, and sometimes individually, and all the way along I've made it quite clear that I'm here to help those of them that want to stay there residentially to be able to do so.